What's up guys, Bob Bob the Gamer here, coming at you with episode 3 of Climbing the Ladder, Wacky Wednesday with X Savers. So this is the deck list we're going to use, it is 41 cards, uh, I just want to test it out. So we're, the idea is we're kind of going for all of the extenders, we've got Rescue Cat, we've got Guard Strike, we have Monk, um, we have One for One, we have triple e-call and call a hundred as well as one pot of avarice basically to put back the cat monk stuff right uh as well as make the one for one live since we're only running the one raggy gura it might conflict but that's what we're going to be testing uh i want to kind of see how it goes side deck we're kind of keeping standard we're on 12 magic cards so hopefully that's enough for monk Who knows, maybe this is the new build, but what I've been noticing is that I just kind of always want extenders. And only having one monster super sucks. But then again, the deck is kind of like Fall Troll, so having it be at 41, that, that small little percentage difference could make a big deal, so. We're X Sabres, we're gonna pick scissors even if we get punished for it. At least on the first game, right? So. <coughs> I don't believe our version has Galahad in it. We'll have to double check that, but. <coughs> well, he's going to give it to us, so we're going to just try and go for it. It's probably a bottomless or something. We might actually be able to do something with that. Okay. That's fine. Um, we're just gonna set one and pass. So we set the traps done here. Hopefully we can just... We're gonna, we're gonna traps done. So he doesn't negate his stuff. So... I don't imagine he has a level 3. I'd be pretty surprised. Most decks don't play level 3, so we're going to just declare... He's quite big, but assuming he doesn't do anything, Gotham's can, in fact, beat over, so... So, Reckless Greed, that gives me a hint that he's on Dragon Turbo. So, I think what we're going to do here is we are going to Cold Wave. Um... And we're going to just try and get the most value here. So we're going to normal. We're going to special. And unfortunately, we're not going to get Fall Troll's effect off here, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, it is what it is. So he's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he's a 3K. Yep. So we're going to go to Gotham's. We're going to try and rip two cards here. And then we'll go battle. We'll attack over. <coughs> He's going to take 100, and then we're going to get in for 16 and rip a card. Does he have the gores? Okay. No, it doesn't look like it. So, one, two. We're going to rip that guy. <coughs> um, You know, honestly, he's on Dragon Turbo. He probably doesn't have a monster to beat over this, so we're just going to pass. And we're going to just try and pressure with uh, Urbellum and Gotham's. So he can't play any magic cards or set anything, so we're probably going to be able to beat over. And then, um, go to grave, please. Thank you. And then probably be able to pick another card, so. So we're going to go to battle. We're going to attack. <coughs> we're going to get in for 16. I would really... I hate when they have four cards, man. In person, I use an eight-sided, but... One, two, three. Um, and then we're gonna go 13 direct. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go main two, and we're just gonna rip two. that guy and then we're gonna just set e-call and pass so dragon turbo if you could start getting them discard cards and doing things like cold wave um 
they're kind of screwed. They need to be able to cycle through all of their stuff. And, um, you know, <coughs> this obviously makes it tough for them. So he's probably got um, whatchamacallit set. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go to battle phase and we're going to attack. <laughs> so he draws. We're going to go e-call. Target uh, air and full. So we're going to stick the full helm knight in defense mode just in case. And then we're going to... So Dragon Turbo can be a little tough as far as sighting goes. The trap stun wasn't actually bad. And I feel like if we can bottomless his dude, but he's probably going to have like... I think we'd rather go with this. So let's go. These are probably too slow anyway. Two, three, four. Okay, so we're sighting out a bunch of stuff. So we're going to sight out Monk. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then we could probably sight out Heavy here. That's what we're going to go with. So the plan is just to kind of like try to rush him down really fast and, um, you know, <coughs> prevent him from normal summoning or instant fusioning a guy and then getting the, uh, you know, the instant or the, um, whatchamacallit, the iron walls off. It's just nuts. We did not. <clears throat> they don't typically play, um, whatchamacallit, but he could be here. This card is normal summon. If this card is destroyed, uh, let's go normal summon. <laughs> We're just gonna mine con it, honestly. He's probably not on Book of Moon or anything, so. Is that good? Just go to grave to grave. We're just gonna make Goyo. <laughs> we're just gonna make a big dude. And we're gonna try and attack. No, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Uh, main two. I think we're just gonna set the trap stun on the iron wall here. <coughs> Because anything like Book of Moon related, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna just do that, so. <laughs> Arabella. Man, my Iron Walls, real life or in Dueling Book, they just always clump, man. I just always get them all together. Okay. So... Let's just make sure we're good. I guess he doesn't have dust shoot. Like, what's he gonna do? That was kind of stupid, buddy. I'm sorry. So we're gonna do one for one. We're gonna go to grave, and we're going to special summon Raggy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go declare. And I think in this scenario, we could probably just get full helm, or we can hope to draw. We can hope to draw a um, a saber next turn. What do we have? We don't have anything to stop an attack, but <coughs> we set book, we do. So, I mean, he could have heavy, but, you know. <clears throat> and there we go. Sometimes you're rewarded, you know? <laughs> Go normal summon. Yeah, and then we're gonna trap stun, and then we're gonna go. Hmm. Let's go special summon, and then we're gonna go declare special summon. Um, is our raggy gonna stay here? Probably not. Um, what do we have set here. Let's just put everything in attack mode, and we're gonna just try and get in there. 
And that'll kind of determine what we're going to do. The 200 might not have been worth, but... And then we're going to go 24. <coughs> oh, sorry. My bad. Okay. Okay. On the 13th. Okay. Okay. Cool. <coughs> yep. So we're going to go... We'll just beat over token. And then we're going to go... Um, okay, cool. We'll go main two, and then we're gonna go Gotham's to grave. We're gonna go Gotham's, and then we're gonna go Claire. We'll rip one. It dissolves this man, so we'll rip that guy. Okay. Bagging, sorry. And then, you know, I think. I think, honestly, we're probably fine here. Uh, we don't really care if he if he attacks the Emmer's Blade, so... <coughs> that is a bit rough. Um, I think we're going to just go Chain Book Target. <coughs> yep, yeah, okay. So we're in a bit of a rough spot here. We're definitely not dead. Possibly should have sided out Solemn, but it is what it is. <coughs> uh, should we Solemn this? No, I guess not. Maybe we should have though. We would have left him on one card, but <clears throat> yeah. So what do we want here? I think we just go into the other Emmers. Um, is this the game our Joyo got hit? Yeah. Average would be sick here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's see. If he makes... Okay, Stardust is fine. wish I had guy I'll tell you that um we could go brio and discard <sighs> maybe that's just the play because he could have trag but like we don't care about trag yeah I think that's just the play unfortunately <laughs> we had the Goyo there, that would have been even better, but, you know, the call's really good. Well, let's just attack. And then we're going to set call and pass. Alright, so that went pretty good. I know x Savers can be a little tough for uh, Dragon Turbo, so... is super dead. <laughs> we 
we're just getting to rip cards for days. Like I said, man, an eight-sided in real life. If you're gonna play exhibit in real life, and that's eight-sided definitely solves that, so. And then we just rip two. So he just has a dead avarice in hand. man are just doing work. <clears throat> I feel like he should have probably did this on the first 13. He probably didn't think about it and just didn't want to take the 24 and then thought about it there. So we beat over token and we make autumns. Yeah, it turns out not ripping the uh, Emmer's Blade was the correct decision. he would have made dark in there, I probably would have solemned, I think. <clears throat> yeah, he's just bricked up over here, you can just see. And he had the instant fusion, but we had the imperial iron wall, so if he instant fusions, gets a dragon out, we just chain iron wall, and then he can't banish with red eyes, and he just loses. <clears throat> All right. That worked out pretty good. Let's go to the next one. Hey, it paid off. Cool. This will get one win with the dice roll today. Okay, so we don't have any... I wonder if we should have set the Sang in there, but he doesn't know what we're on, so. And we don't have any tuners, but the rat can go get us cat. We just don't have a sweeper, so I don't know how I feel about that. That's a bit rough. Yeah. 3100 minus 1450. Yep, 1650. Um, I think we go get a, I think we go get a full helm here. I'm sorry? Oh, it's 37. My bad. Yeah, you're right. So I just take another 600. So this is tough here. I very much doubt his last card is Kalut. Um, but he's probably either got Starlight, which I feel like is less likely. Uh, he's probably got Solemn. So I think we need to force out the Solemn or Icarus. So we're going to... Okay. So that's brain. So, are we good here? Okay. So if we sink Stardust here, he has to Solemn. We've not normal summoned yet. Alternatively, we could pump attack first. I think I like that. So let's go declare. <clears throat> And then we'll go with 
attack. He's probably going to Icarus here. He might have a D-Prison, too. But, I mean, either way, we're using his resources on his stuff, right? So. Okay. It's a Grave. And then we're going to go... Main 2. And we're going to go... Normal summon. <clears throat> sure. He's got Torrential. Okay. So, it seems like he does not have Icarus here. So that puts him really low on cards. He's on two cards to our three. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna then go special summon. Oh yeah. And then I think we're just going to pass. Mm -hmm. That's pretty rough. Man, do I hate Blizzard. So he's going to make Goyo, take our dude. Yep. We're going to take 700. Tarantula gone. So that's that? probably like a bottomless or something. Um. Hmm. Man. I want to fall troll really, really bad. Okay. So. I think our play is probably set Sangin, set book, because Fulhelm can't attack over our guy. So then the idea is hopefully to go get Cat or something. Um, and if he takes the Sangin, we can get some value out of it, so. <clears throat> Alternatively, maybe we should have just used one for one, went and got Raggy, added back uh, Emmer's Blade, and then set the Emmer's Blade, but I don't know. And I wish we'd have had that book set last turn, but... So we go get Cat here. Monk might be better. Because he can't bottomless the Arcanite, actually. It does get rid of our one-for-one, one, but... It's probably worth it. And then we're okay with 2100. Ironically enough, had we have made Stardust that turn, he really didn't have a lot to stop that. But we can't make... Man, I don't know what I was thinking. We can't make Arabellum. We can't get Arabellums if he has Bottomless set. Whew, man, it's so cold. Yeah. We're gonna book that. Okay. So all we gotta worry about is his back row, which is probably Icarus attack. God, what a bad draw. So, if that's bottomless, we lose with Mux. We won't be able to, both of our tuners will go. If it's not bottomless, and it's D-Prison, then we lose with full Helm. What do they usually play, two and two? And he doesn't have any engraved so far? I think that's that's really tough. But I think that realistically, 
We're just gonna have to take a chance on one of them. Airbellum gets us Arcanite, whereas Fullhelm gets us what? Fullhelm's gonna get us him, and then what? We make our our Brio or Goyo. Um, so Bottomless really kills us either way. So yeah, I think we're gonna do the Monk play. Yeah, I mean, Bottomless just kills us either way. They got the Oppression. Cool. Okay. Let's go to Grave. Let's go to Attack, to Attack. Anything here. Okay. So... We're gonna go to grave to grave. We're gonna make Arcanite. Oh my god, dude. I didn't change the extra deck after I put Monk back in. Well, guess we're doing this. Definitely not what I wanted, so it was the D prison. So he's top decking. If he draws, what does he draw that kills us? Blizzard? Uh, Blizzard's gonna kill us even if we won for one something, so I think we're just gonna pass. Well, we gotta fix the Arcanite after this game. <laughs> oh, man. How silly we are, huh? If he draws another Blizzard, he's just better than me. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think that's, I think that's just good, right? Yeah. So, okay. So we're gonna go, like. All right, so we're gonna go one for one. We're gonna go discard troll. We're gonna go, go get Raggy, where is he? Special summon, declare. Um. We're gonna go get Fall Troll to hand. We're gonna normal summon. We're gonna special summon. And then we're gonna go. Hmm. The other Full Helm's probably correct here, I think. I think we're just gonna go with Attack Negates. Yeah. Is probably correct because we're so low. And then we're gonna go to battle phase. <clears throat> we're gonna beat over. And then we're gonna go in for 26. Yep. Okay. And then he's got one, two, three. He's out of darks for dark arm. We're just gonna pass. <sighs> Mirror and Torrential are gone, so I guess we're a little worried about bottomless, but that's about it. Blizzard doesn't really do anything here. Um, I don't know what card he's going to top deck to beat us, to be honest. Because he's already used Goyo. And even if he didn't, it doesn't matter. We have two attack negates. Sure. Yeah, we'll declare. Alright. And then we're just going to go... What do we do here? We just make Goyo, I guess. If we make Goyo, it's gonna be Stardust. Yeah, if we make Goyo, we can then make a Stardust Dragon, but then we lose our attack negate, but I think that's probably worth it. But I think we just kill here, right? Like, I mean, if we make Armory Arm, we can kill. So let's go Declare. Let's go get you. I think that's the most damage sec, doing math. Whatever, then. Alright, we'll just go to battle. We'll do it your yeah. way. And then we'll do 13, 13, 13. Yeah. yeah. I did that wrong, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll go main 2, and we're just gonna make... Okay. 
Koyo, I guess. It doesn't matter. And then we'll just set one and pass. Cool, cool. So, we don't have decrees in this build, but we have these. And we have these. So what's going to get sided out? Probably call. Probably one G call. Um, monk. Sangin, rat. So many deck Debbie targets do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's probably okay, I think. <clears throat> and then what? We have triple trap stun, dust. I mean, we have tons of back row removal, like just tons of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we've got double bottomless. I mean, yeah, I feel I feel pretty decent about this. I kind of wish we had a Starlight Road, but the reason I don't star, side Starlight Road versus uh, Black Wings is because it loses to Oppression. And they're 100% going to have two in against you, so. Is there anything else I would rather have? I don't know. Maybe we should have sided out the Minecon, but we have Trap Stun, so. <clears throat> so that's not bad. We probably could have killed him that turn last game, but he was not feeling it, so, you know. It is what it is. Yep. He's got Kalut. So, <clears throat> I think we normal summon first and check for the bottomless. Alternatively, we can just set, like, we could set three here and make him think we have starlight, but that might force him to do, hmm. Yeah, I don't really like this the walking into a bottomless thing here. I mean, if he has Mirror Force, that's better, but... So let's just Normal Summon first, see what happens. Okay, and then we're gonna Brain Con, pay cost. I kinda wanna be greedy. But I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just try and sink to Black Rose and see what happens. Okay. So he's gonna Solemn. Uh, that's actually not terrible for us. Um, and then we're gonna set to Pass. <clears throat> so we forced a Solemn. He does still have Whirlwind, which is rough for us, but that's okay. So we know I have Kalut. So we could go Kalut Gale. Yeah, okay. If he's summoning the Kalut, I feel like his hand is not that great. He's probably gonna go search a Blizzard. I would love to draw a book of moon, man. Let me tell you. We're going to take 1400. Minecon here isn't super good. Um but we're going to do some kind of good stuff. Uh, and we're going to go to battle. We're just going to attack. Oops. He's going to do that. 
We're gonna train traps done. We're gonna take a hundred. Let's go to grave. We're gonna go do effect. Um, what's that? Got him's e-call. Um, so what did he search? He searched Blizzard, I believe, right? Oh no, he searched Gale. Okay. So Gale does not get over, um, Goyo. Just go full Helm Knight, and we're gonna go main two, and then we're gonna... We're gonna go Minecon, whatever. He's got a Gale, so he's probably okay. And then we're just gonna go Gors. This guy's got me rushing over here. And then we'll pass. <clears throat> Kinda wish I would've had Galahad there, but it is what it is. So what, he's gonna go get a Bayou, and then he's gonna get... I guess he could make a Taster, I didn't really consider that, but that's okay. Kind of counting on the Gotham Z call. He's got Soroko. What is that? That's 23. That's 46. <sighs> and then he summons Gale. 46. That's 59. Right? Yeah, okay. I think we just run it back, to be honest. I probably should have put Cyber Dragons in there, but... You ever put a Cyber Dragon in? <sighs> kind of want to be like, hey man, if you could hurry, you gotta go soon. <clears throat> Gotta say, I'm not seeing these saber holes nearly as often as I would like, man. What the hell is this? Well, never mind. So like homeboy wants time to think about his turns, but he's like, don't think about your stuff. But, you know, I don't want to be that guy. I'm just going to take as much time to think as I want to. Waiting for him to just be like, all right, whirlwind, sure. Sure. Don't summon Kalut. That'd be lame. No, he's going to sack it for Soroko. That's fine. Oh. 
MSG. Nope. Hmm. I think his hand's a little weak. So I think we're gonna go... We're gonna see if we can't wait for that and pass. Because if that's bottomless, we just lose. Maybe I should've just put him on better habit, but, you know. He thought a really long time about that turn, so. Yeah, I mean, we'll take 18. <clears throat> I don't really want to give this to you, but it's probably for the best, to be honest, for when we explode next turn. As long as he doesn't, like, sack for Caius or something, I think it puts us in a better position. Because realistically, we're going to get Raggy Girl and we're going to rip his whole hand, so. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm fine with this. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you normal summoned. I mean, I guess you have Dark Arm, but I don't think that kills me, does it? 23 plus 28, 51. God damn it. Fucking Dark Arm, dude. Well, We ripped that. I guess I can't complain too much. I think he was just getting salty because he was losing there. Let's see if there's anything different that we could have done. <clears throat> Oh my god, and he sacks the dark arm too. Look at this. 
Yep, look at that. Well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, literally next turn we were gonna Brio hand loop him if he attacked into that. We were gonna cold wave slash heavy, it didn't matter. And then um, we were gonna just full hand loop him. And then beat over whatever he had, it didn't matter. We were clearing his board after that one. Man, the more that I see it, the more I honestly just want three Saber Hole instead of being bottomless. Stopping those crucial synchros, man, is just big. Not a great going second hand, I must admit. So I've actually been beaten by Morphtronics before. One of them can attack directly and he hit me for like a ton of damage. Yeah, that guy. And then one of them like powers him up by attacks or something. Okay, so while on a defense they can't be destroyed by battle. Okay. Well, I think he's probably going to try and make he's probably going to try and make a synchro when he hits again I'm oh, sorry there you go Makes me think one of them is MST, but. This is the issue when you get Guard Strike and Fall Troll? He's, he's kind of another brick, but he's a one of, and, you know, if it wasn't for Dueling Book, you, uh. You typically wouldn't, you know, get him to. Okay, so he's playing books, that's good to know. What the hell is this? Shama Monsters. Shaman yeah, Monsters battle position has changed. Place one Morph Counter card. All Morph Counter Monsters gain 300 attack for each Morph Counter on this card. When this card is destroyed and sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one Morph Counter Monster from your graveyard. Okay. So. Morph Counter Monsters attack goes up by 300. <laughs> okay, so he's a. Uh, 1100? Uh, So we got, okay, we summoned one, none of these are tuners, okay, so I think he's just gonna, gonna attack directly, so he's just gonna try and attack me directly and we're just gonna book it. Okay. But he's a... Man, I really wish he would do the math on that. He's a 1600. So we'll take... 300? Question mark?
I see. Okay, got it. Yeah. his attack now so it's six it's 14 says so 1900 and then this one's 600 plus eight um we'll declare yeah okay tuners so well, I guess I'm really getting what I asked for here huh well let's see if this works if not I'm in some deep shit attack and defense no Patient on dueling book, bro. Keep your panties on, bro. I did thinking the emoji. I have cards too. Wild. I don't really know. That'll at least get us guard strike next turn. What? What? Um, so these are twenty four hundred. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell these cards do, man. See, I'm about to go up to three trap stuns because anytime that I lose, it's like because of traps. Like. Because this might actually be game. 24, 19. No, they're actually higher. And this dueling book makes you draw your freaking one of so often, dude. It's so annoying. I hate the algorithm, bro. <sighs> mm hmm. 55. And what is that? He's a 900 plus. This is for 12. Right. Right. No worries, it's, it's fine. I don't even know how to side against something like this. I guess we're just gonna go with... Are those light monsters? I know they're machines. 
Oh my god, we forgot to swap the Arcanite too. So let's go you. I don't even know, dude. I don't think you're synchroing a lot. So let's go you. You. Recruiters don't seem very good. Yeah. Okay, so I think we just Sark for Cat. And then I think it's set Sangin, set Traps. They could have heavier MST here, which would make us a bit of a misplay, but. That's probably what the 1800 guy. Um, we we'll just pass. He's on the machine dupe stuff too. Cause this is the one that where they can attack directly. Okay. Man, so I kind of feel for this guy because doing this on dueling book looks like it's ass. So I think here we go get Emmers. Yeah. We want to turn our full helms online. So attack position, you control, can attack your opponent directly. And then this is the hit guy. Okay. So in theory. In theory, we can rip two cards and um, he will get a Sangin search, which is kind of not great for us, but what is this? this is a six star. Um, all right, so I think it's just do Cyber Dragon first. Right, yeah, okay. So we're gonna go Chimera Tech. I mean, you thumbs up the Cyber Dragon, bro. Both of them will die on end phase, but I feel like the Chimera Tech's kind of worth it here. He's probably got a Book of Moon, and he's thinking if he can Book of Moon Cyber Dragon to stop it, which you can't, by the way. 
you just reveal. It's kind of like bestiary and glads. It is not. Chill, bro. I don't really want to use mind control with Sangan. That seems like kind of butt here. Um, and if he books our dude, it doesn't die to cat. So I mean, that seems pretty good. All right. Um, so let's go cat. Claire. To grave. We're not going to get a ton of value out of these guys. We're only going to get one hand rip. Possibly two. But, um, you know, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So he's going to let that attack go through. So if he books Cerebellum, it does not die to cat. man sometimes you just get lucky main to i think i'm just gonna set e call and phase pass what the fuck is this thing a lot of tag position must return you can special some level for a monster from your hand straight during the end phase oh this is the tuner thing yeah 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 that's fine. a lot of tag position once per turn you contribute more chronic monster to a strong card in the field Six, seven, um, yeah, that's unfortunate, but yeah. We are still up in cards. Um, maybe I should have had the book set there. Brown, hey, how you doing? All right, so we got call. How's our grave looking? Honestly, great. Average would be so good. Alright, let's go normal. Song. Let's attack. Come here, buddy. <laughs> so he's gonna take 13. He just black roast. Um. We have Sangin in grave, right? Yeah. So there's no reason not to set call here. Just you do we'll attack position. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So we'll take 500, and then we're gonna go get probably Arabellum. I think might be good here. Actually, our cat's gone, so I think we're gonna go do that. Yeah. So that's 2,900. We're going to rip a card, and then we're going to synchro seven. Okay, so we're going to go normal summon. And we're going to go... And then we're going to go to grave. We're going to go battle. We're going to go... 
16 first. Cool, cool, cool. So I think our plan kind of worked out pretty well there. Um, he's not really banishing or anything. I think realistically the back row removal is where we want to be because I think our dudes just beat his. So, um, the Everest actually I kind of want to go back in. Um, maybe we won't need that much back row removal. That seems kind of excessive. Not that we saw the dust tornado, it literally wouldn't have mattered, but you know. We got three trap stones, we got MST, we got cold wave, and we got heavy. I feel like that's probably good. Plus solemn, if you want to count that. I feel like brain and mind in this matchup are really good. I probably could have taken out gold sarks, but sometimes even going second gold sark is worth it, so. Hand is pretty mid. Well. Unfortunately, he's going to get to do that before we can book it, so it is what it is. Very, very good start for him. Okay. Maybe he just misses all these. That'd be good for us. It's unlikely, but... Well, there we go. Big on my face. Okay, so he goes with the tuner. Which, unfortunately, has 1400 defense. Yep, he's gonna declare his last guy. Remoten. This is another tuner. Once per turn, you target one more trunk monster. Really advance the target if you do. Add one also with the same name. deck to your hand. Man, Sidra just goes crazy here. <laughs> you imagine? You're better banish a target if you do add a more charm monster with the same levels as, it, as your hand. Okay. So. And you make Stardust? Yeah, okay. I think we just have to try. Okay. Come on, buddy. cannot declare an attack or change battle positions yeah that's fine so what's he got back there probably a bottom this guy sure okay 500 Stardust is pretty annoying though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, um... Man, all these sweepers. Haven't seen them. It might be worth prioing Brio here. So I think what we're gonna do is... We're gonna normal summon to play around bottomless. God, if that's a book, that's pretty ass though. Show me the solemn, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pry oh. Okay. 
that's done. We're still not in like the best spot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set call and I'm gonna pass. I don't blame this guy. Priority is kind of confusing in Edison. Like, it's probably better off for the game when it's gone, but it was there, so. Wow. save this Bryonic if he doesn't normal summon something? I don't know. I mean, that'd be cool. I would I would appreciate saving Brio, but, you know. And we do also have call set, so that could be beneficial for us. <sighs> that guy's got 900 attack. So in theory, we can book this guy, we can then call Full Helm Knight, attack over. What does this do in defense? Okay. Take 500, that's fine. Go flip summon. Okay. Um. I think let's go declare. To bounce. No, to hand, bro. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Then we're gonna go battle phase. And then we're gonna go here. What is this? When you control a face of level 4 or lower monster, all level 4 or higher monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack. Alright, well that's fine. So we're gonna go call the hard. Then we're gonna go get full helm knight. And then we're gonna go to battle. Do we have another full helm in here? No, that's unfortunate. We're gonna go... That guy's got 900 defense, so we're gonna attack. Yeah. Why is it 1900? Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, it is. Well, that's my bad. That's probably gonna cost me the game, to be honest. I should have just went for self on all of them. Eight hundred. Yeah, we're gonna have it. Right. I mean, that 
that's pretty good. How do we do this? I don't think we can. Um. Okay. So I think it's just... Tribute for Chimera Tech? Yeah, I think we're gonna declare... To hand. And then we're gonna go to Grave. Normal. And then we're gonna do Chimera Tech. Uh, four. That's four thousand. So get rid of all your dudes. All right, that might have that might have put us back into the game. We're gonna set call. We're gonna set traps. Done. And we're gonna try and get some good stuff. That's a level six. Oh yeah, he's gonna probably special something, which is rough for us. But what's he gonna do? Brio? So it makes a little six right now. Or he waits. So he flipped and he normaled this guy. Mm hmm. Someone successful. Mm hmm. Useless, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. and 23. Okay. Pass. Well, Brio's not connected to call now, so that's kind of cool. Normal's gone though. I don't know how many extenders he's gonna have. Hmm. <sighs> I 
man. Um, did you use Mirror Force yet? I don't even know if you play Mirror Force, to be honest. Prison, I'm gonna feel really stupid, but that machine dupe was super good for him. Okay, add one more trying to monster with the same level as the target from your deck to your hand. Okay, and this is the guy. 800 attack. Okay, sure. Place up more found on monster. All three are high monsters. Your opponent controls cannot declare an attack. Um. to be honest. And then maybe next turn we can get something going. But man, do I want Raggy Barossa win. Oh, he's yielding. Okay. Yeah, I think after we screwed up, after we attacked this dude in defense mode, I did not think we were going to get it. I figured that uh, we kind of screwed the pooch, but I guess not. No, there's the Sangin. That would have been pretty good, actually. Sangin would have been really, really strong here. All right, well, let's go ahead and take it this very long replay, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it. I think Mortronics, you know, I don't I don't think they're ever gonna be like tier one, but I do think there's maybe something that people could cook with them somehow. Um in their earths. I'm glad I didn't sign in light prison, that would be embarrassing. Uh, but I think there might be something with them. Um I don't know exactly how you would do it. But they seem kind of cool, you know? Like, there's there's some pretty interesting stuff. Which, I mean, that really sucked because we, we definitely would have, like, not went into Full Hell Knight here had he have actually had all of his dude's stats adjusted. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, let me just do the math and we're like, yeah, no, we're not, we're not getting out of this alive. So, we sided, we mostly did spell trap stuff. And then we're just gonna go for cat here.
so we knew that was booked there. Let's just get the lucky rip on this one. Yeah, the Black Rose made me feel kind of dumb for setting the E-Call, but, you know. That card's Black Rose is just really good for the Sabres. Yeah, very, very strong start from the opponent with the uh, Machine Dupe. was soft, but I forgot about Scopin's effect, so. What is his defense? Oh, it's that Mortronic Bind. But we're a bunch of three stars. And what do we set? We set Book. Yep. And here's the debacle with Brionic, with Priority. We argue for a bit, and Judge is like, yeah, priority is a thing. Um, I pay cost, then I set to book. so we can't get over Brionic. See, and this is our huge misplay here, is I forgot this guy had that defense effect. We should have just killed the Cellphon, and then main two, we should have made high Unlay, blew that stupid thing up, and then, uh, you know, and then Avarist. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So I didn't really love putting back all the X sabers there, but you know, it ended up working out. And we tribute for Sidra. Make a four thousand Chimera attack. Which she's gonna brio. That's fine. Machine Dupe was so good for him. episode of wacky wednesday guys i know a lot of wacky stuff going on dueling book for fun right if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe check out one of these other videos around here and i'll catch you all in the next one peace